Guys, welcome back. We're uh, fixing something on the channel that we don't normally do, but uh, mm. I think it's pretty cool. Some of y'all probably seen these cruising coolers, probably not seen one in this good a shape ever. I've had this for a long time and I got it basically for free, uh, but it was the 300 volt, not 300, <laughs> not 300 volts, I promise. 300 watt, uh, tw uh, 12 volt version, 24 volt. Yeah, 24 volt. I don't know, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. 20, 300 amp, 300 watt. 300 watt. Yes. 24 volt. 24 volt uh, version, which really kitten, I mean, it, it won't even carry some of my size on flat ground, much less anywhere else. It's in rough shape. Uh, I took it all apart. I had really good video of all that. It was running. I did uh, hot wire and get it running. But uh, my three year old son uh, flushed my camera, my GoPro down the toilet. So. Lost that footage. So now here's where we're at. Let's take a look at it. I'm gonna do a slow motion thing on this. Make it seem like real fancy. All right, so here's what we've done so far before I start cleaning it up anymore. I took it all apart. This is the old motor. As you can see, it was a very small appliance motor. Uh, but this is what came with it originally. This thing's old, guys. I, I think it's old. But it worked. It did, it did work. It had dead batteries. This whole assembly holds the motor and the axles. And this is called a Series 50, so you have to take all this apart to get the motor and everything out. And this was actually riveted in. This sticks through the bottom, and you'll see that when I put it back together. And then there's another plate that sandwiches it on the cooler, and it was riveted, which is a pretty poor design. We're going to go back with bolts on that. I've gone to a 36-volt, 800-watt uh, motor, which should pull me around and definitely pull anyone smaller than me around, my wife or son. Uh, and it's 36-volt, 30-amp versus 24-volt, 16-amp. So I did have to add another 12 volt battery and I am using uh, just regular lead acid batteries right now, 12 volt wired in series. I am gonna change this over to a 40 volt lithium, uh, two 40 volt lithiums wired in series. Uh, that way it will increase my amp hours and it'll be easier to charge. And other than that, I've just gotta do a lot of cleaning. <clears throat> I am eventually gonna to go to a bigger tire setup. Those are the little tires it has. These are a little proprietary and these were flat, but they're holding there now. These are some little two and a half by fours, uh, proprietary cruising cooler wheels. It does have this hub on the back, so I'm not sure if I can reuse the wheel and just get a different tire or what. But for right now, let's just take one good look at it and I'm gonna clean it and then we'll take another look at it when I get done cleaning it. Guys, we are clean. And uh, we're gonna try to put it back together. Got a slight snafu here. This mounting plate is different than that mounting plate. And so I was gonna redraw my holes. This hole will be fine. But this hole is right at this bracket. And so I'm gonna drill this bracket out. This is metal, this is metal. I'm gonna move that, all this out so I can drill a hole through right there. And then I can just either weld it or I can just re-screw it in. Either way, this bracket has gotta move out some. All right, late night working uh, fabricating after the big Georgia win against the uh, hillbillies of Tennessee. <clears throat> Speaking of hillbillies, I've got this motor mounted with three nuts and bolts. Uh, it was originally mounted with only three, so I feel comfortable about that. But I also had to modify this. And by modify, I mean hack up 
uh, to miss this bolt because I did have to widen out. This base isn't the same as that motor's base. But everything's back together. And this is ready to pretty much get mounted back in the cooler. So I'm gonna put this back in the cooler with this slid down uh, into the slots and it should be in there. Whether the wiring's right or anything else is right, this is, you know, there. So guys, I've got the motor in there and we'll look at that in a second. <clears throat> I'm mounting the brackets for the axle and they just go in with these two bolts. And then I'm gonna have to replace all these rivets right here. There's four on each side. But I'm gonna replace those with nuts and bolts, which I don't actually have right now. But now there you can see how that bill motor fits in there. It fits in there okay. After you do a lot of modification of the engine plate, you just have to drill new holes. You see those real weird L looking bolts? I don't know what those are, but that's how, that's the bolts they use to put the uh, axle brackets in. So I'm going to tighten all that down, and once I get all that in, we'll start looking at the axle, and then we'll be uh, on our way. So I ran into a challenge. Chain's not long enough. The motor, the 800 watt motor, is bigger, much bigger around than this 300 watt. And so it's about this much higher up, as far as the cog is concerned. And I don't think there's a way, based on the mounting, for me to fix that. Guys, we made some progress, and I don't know how much I videotaped, if anything at all, but the new speed controller, 36 volt speed controller, is generally wired up. There's still a few few little things I need to do. The 800 watt 36 volt motor is in and mounted. The new 25 chain length is correct and in there and tensioned. Uh, everything's back together. Everything's not tight, but it's back together. I got this adapter for a 40 volt Ryobi battery that I've wired in for the battery. This is a, supposed to be a four amp hour, 40 volt battery. Probably not, probably closer to a three amp hour. Uh, these knockoff batteries are always a little bit weaker than what they claim, but showing full. What I'll do is I'll just run a couple of these and just keep one charged and with me and then that'll give me a few amp hours. And you can see they're much smaller than the big old three 12 volt batteries that I originally bought for it. So that was going to wire in what series parallel Ser series, I guess. Wiring it up has been a little bit of a chore because the new speed controller is not really labeled. Obviously battery and motor are labeled and they're, they're accurate, but this has a 24 volt six pin uh, throttle and the new one has a three pin throttle, so I just had to figure out which three wires were the throttle. And luckily they matched in color. And so I wired that in. And now I've got these extra three wires. I believe this is gonna be brake um, because I think the way it works has a brake switch to where when you press the brakes, it kills power to the battery. I'm not gonna wire that up. I don't care about that. Um, I'm probably not gonna wire that up. And then there is an indicator for voltage. Um, which doesn't work right now because I don't have that wired up right. Probably won't. This is a 24 volt throttle, so it's not really going to work right anyway. The plug uh, coming off of this new speed controller, the on off switch is actually labeled. I forget what it was labeled, something weird. Um, anyway, uh, it is a two position. That wasn't good. It's a two position switch. Uh, and the old one was, a, I say two position was a two wire switch and the old one's a three wire because it did have a, a light that, that powered. So I just wired in this little extra switch I had real quick just to see if things worked. So right now the switch is off. Let's turn the switch on. Battery should be hot. It's all shrink wrapped and wired in. And see if the throttle works. <laughs> oh yeah, that brake may be catching. That wobble is the tire flat. Uh, I'll probably need to check this brake to make sure it's not dragging. Only it's dragging. If it is, not too bad. We'll see. Oh, yeah. I've definitely got to figure out that brake is moving way too much. Um, I think it might be mounted a little bit off. It is. It's not even mounted. That screw's not even all the way in. Okay, so that's the problem. <clears throat> but easy fix. Let's just go ahead and get, get a ride and we'll see what happens. Oh my 
goodness. <laughs> that's going to be crazy. All right, so that's where we're at. Let me clean the wiring up now. I'm going to get it nice and loomed out or at least cleaned up, get the switch figured out. I'll probably just not use the, the lighted part of this original switch since it's already in there and just wire this in. Um, mount the battery against this wall or the, yeah, against that wall probably right there. Oh, I also wired in a 30 amp, I think 30, 40 amp, 30 amp. Pretty sure it's a 30 amp. Wait, there we go, 35 amp. 35 amp breaker um, between the battery and the speed controller. Idiot. Take it in. Hold on. Thirteen miles an hour. I think. Hold on. All right. So, dual motor, eighteen volt, single motor, forty volt, single wheel drive, two wheel drive, two wheel drive, eighteen volt, two motor. Oh my god. Drag race is. Oh, you're going to that tree. What tree? Which one? One this one right here. Well, I mean, whoever goes by me can keep going, but <laughs> that one. All right, David, you're going to go straight. As straight. fast as you can go, okay? Okay. You ready? Set. Go. <laughs> Woo, that wasn't even close so guys i'm at a stopping point with this thing i've taken it as far as i can without serious modification which one we'll talk about but this is the final iteration for now let me show you what all we got So the last thing I did that I didn't show is I put these stainless steel hinges on for this and for the back. I still haven't hooked the um, little strap up, the old stuff, lid on yet. But anyway, down here, 40 volt Ryobi battery. That's a six amp hour. I said, I think I said four earlier at six, but realistically it's probably closer to a four because it's a knockoff. Uh, I went ahead and mounted, found a little bracket. I could mount that um, breaker on. I got everything wired through to the speed controller. Uh, speed controller's mounted, 800 watt, 36 volt batteries mounted. Uh, chain tensioner's on, chain's on. Uh, all the tires still hold air, these are all original. Doesn't have the cushion anymore, you can see it used to. Uh, this works pretty good now, it works a lot better than it did actually. Uh, it's ready to hold beer, or whatever, whatever your choice is. Pegs work. Uh, everything works on it. <clears throat> I definitely need a larger wheels. It needs larger wheels. Um, I need a brace for the front, or I really just need to rake that out and put a little bit larger tire on it. If I rake that out, though, it's going to put a little more stress on the uh, mount to the cooler, and I'll have to plate that. So, you know, you do small things, and it gets into a big thing. So, we're not going to do that right now. Brakes work, kind of. Eh, they need to be adjusted. I never did wire up the power indicator. The switch works fine though. Uh, everything else works good. And I couldn't be more happy with it, guys. It's got some pep too. Let's 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 see what she's got. She'll pop up wheelie hardcore, even with me sitting up front. So guys, there you have it. Uh, what do you think I should do next? I'm thinking about getting a 120 quart cooler and making my everything myself, including a thousand watt motor, 48 volt, um, with a 60 volt battery, 
uh, all myself with a big 120 put two seats on it um, I think I'd have to build a little frame for it but thinking about it I could do that pretty cheap probably 500 bucks and it would definitely be super unique this is unique though because you don't see these very often either anymore but for right now I'm super happy with it. we're gonna put some beer in here in a little bit or we're gonna put some uh, we're gonna put some cold drinks in it here in a minute guys I hope you found this informative if you did please hit like subscribe uh, thanks for watching have a great day